Hey guys, welcome back for more Coffee Talk Episode 2. So last time we got visited by Lua, Amanda, new character, plus Silver, also known as Neil. And at the end of the episode last time, I was talking, I put my headphones down, and I didn't notice that it was raining so hard in this game that you could barely hear me talk, so I'm sorry about that. So today we're gonna do Day 4, so come on, let's continue. Yeah, you, see, you hear this right now? Yeah, it's this one. I did not hear this. Why is it so loud? Um, can we lower it though? Is it the ambience? Okay, maybe it's the ambience, right? Like, it's way too loud. The rainy season sure is something. How are you feeling, Miss Rachel? Oh, this is Ra Rachel? Okay, it's Rachel. As good as I can be. What is it? Oh, nothing. I think I'll never get used to seeing a Nekumimi transformation is all. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way, of course. It's quite magical. Thanks. So, do you need anything? A towel, perhaps? It was pouring outside when you came in. Hmm... Do you have a hair dryer? A hair dryer? No. Unfortunately, we don't. Then, uh, nope, I'm good. You sure? Ah, uh, Moon, a little rain won't hurt me. I'll be fine. Okay, let me, let me, let me lower it for, for this episode, I guess. Yeah, so we don't really hear the rain. It's just kind of annoying. All right, if you say so, let me check this. Tomodachil. Lua Riona Dude, no one is liking Riona, dude Let's like her Rachel Hide Hide Is he coming back though? Lucas Like tattoos No, no, friends Rachel Yeah, Rachel is a different hairstyle now an aqua. Hey now, I'm no longer a kid, okay? It's been three years already. I aged too, you know? It has nothing to do with that at all. The last thing I want is for a star to get ill because of poor service here. Then you just have to treat me real nice. How about making me a special drink? A special drink? What do you have in mind? Something milky and slightly sweet and some brightness to negate this gloomy weather. Some brightness, huh? As in flavor or color? Up to you. I mean, different colors usually have different effects, right? Alright, I'll try. And uh, no coffee, please. Can you summarize your order for me? A colorful non-coffee latte with honey, please. So it's either hibiscus or blue pea, right? With milk and the honey. Uh, maybe hibiscus. We haven't used hibiscus in a long time. We've been using a lot of blue peas. Let's try hibiscus this time. Hibiscus, milk, and the honey. Yes. Sweetheart latte. This is good, this is good. Alright. Let me know what you think about it. It's cute. Also, it's pink. Yep. What do you call this again? Um, We call it Sweetheart Latte. Cute. Thank you. Please give it a try and let me know what you think. Okay. Hmm... It's not a strawberry latte, is it? It's too sour for that. Don't tell me just yet. Let me guess. Okay. Cranberry? No. Now that you mention it, it does have a similar taste to cranberry. But it's not that, right? What is it then? It's hibiscus. Ooh. How do you like it? 
I love it. It's sweet, tart, and creamy at the same time. Why sweet tart latte though? Well, it tastes both sweet and sour. It contains milk, so it's creamy and comforting. Like a sweet tart. Ah, sweet, sour, and comforting, huh? Speaking of sour, I'm surprised the milk isn't all curdled up. I remember at a party, someone tried to mix or mix us a mocktail using lemon, soda, and milk. It was yucky. It's because you need to use the right ratio of ingredients. Then you have to mix them at the right temperature. Additionally, you have to froth it to prevent curdling and... So what you're saying is, it's not something I can make myself? Of course you can, but why make it yourself when I'm always at your service? Excellent response, 5 stars. Dude, I hopefully Lucas comes in because both of them are kind of famous, right? Since when have you gotten so smooth, Moon? Only happens on the rarest occasions. So it's best if you do not get used to it. So, sweetheart latte, huh? A fuzzy but comforting sweet and sour. I see. At any rate, has it really been that long already? My last visit here was probably over a year ago wasn't it? I believe so. It was around the time your images started to appear on buses. Right. Things just took off and suddenly I had no more free time. How are you hanging? Busy, but it's good. Great, even. A lot is happening, actually. Yeah? Like, I've been busy shooting new music videos and such. A lot of photo shoots, too. I'm also set to appear on several shows and podcasts, and... I'm creating a new single. Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. That's great news. Congrat. Nope. Don't congratulate me yet. Oops. Okay. I'm still in the process of making it. In more ways than one. What do you mean? I'm actually creating the song this time. Wow. And I'll be collabing with AJ. Wait a second. You mean... The guy who always... Well, who's always on your playlist. Army Jendru. That's really cool. I know, I'm excited. I can't wait to hear it. Also, I also had no idea you made songs. I know I don't look like it, but... Truthfully, from the time I was a kid, it's always been a dream of mine. Writing songs and dancing. More specifically, singing and dancing to my own songs. I won a Nekomimi pop-up concert. A pop-up concert? You know, a concert that pops up randomly. You see it happen sometimes in malls or in a popular busy street. Ah yes, I see what you mean. You miss it and poof, it's gone. Leaving only memories of a one-of-a-kind show with a one-of-a-kind experience. Sounds rather exciting, right? I guess I've always loved being on stage. But you know, we always wanted to become everything when we were kids. True. But as you grow up, you have to pick your battles. And for me, singing and dancing just came more naturally than creating my own music. Mm. At least until now. I thought to myself, if I can do it alone, then I'll make it with someone who definitely knows what they're doing. You definitely chose the right guy, right? I'm taking in fresh inspiration even now. Who knows, maybe I'll get inspired from your drinks too. But I'm so excited, you can't believe. And so, keep an eye out for it, okay? Whenever it's out, I mean. Will do. Oh my god. Okay, the lights went out again. I knew it. A blackout? Yeah. It happened before. Only when the weather gets this bad. Give me a quick second, please. I'll turn on the generator. Okay. <laughs> is Riona gonna appear again? Oh, there she is. Oh, she got scared to turn into a cat.
Okay, let me let me uh, put some. A little ambient is good. No, no, but I hate the sound of that one though. Cute. Oh, Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. Sorry about my absence earlier. I was just turning on the generator. Miss Rachel, is everything all right? Yep. I was just surprised by the thunder for a second there. Well, everything should hold on for now. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Riona. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, not the best. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you make me something nice with a bit of sweetness? Of course, anything you want. If I recall, last time you suggested an interesting drink to me. Something with blue tea and milk? That's about right. Could you please prepare that for me? But make it so ever so slightly sweeter this time. It's been quite a day. I think I deserve the sugar. Roger that. I have just the perfect drink for you. Oh, we need to give uh, Lucas's info, right? Okay, then a blue latte with a hint of sweetness, please. Okay, blue latte, so blue pea, milk, and the honey, right? Then let's give Lucas's... What do you call that? Give item. Uh, no, 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 put this one... Oh, you can only give one at a time? Okay, this is it. Go. Hmm? An email? Oh, is it from that person before? Lucas, wasn't it? He wants me to contact him? I'll think about it. Thank you. You're welcome. One dreaming of blue... For the lady in blue, who's got the blues. <laughs> but I'm not wearing blue. You have that cold blue thing going on. I love it. Thank you. Anything else you need? No, it's fine. Thank you. Just one of those days? I suppose. It's one of those moments when it seems like everything is collapsing simultaneously. Not necessarily great by any means. I don't know how that feels. Want to talk about it? Rachel is feeling generous today. Rachel is feeling generous today. Good evening. Ah. Oh, it's Gala. He's back. A doctor. He's a doctor now? <laughs> He was a nurse last time, right? If I'm correct. Or was he also a doctor? I don't remember. I mean, the outfit, right? Hey, Rachel. Still a hospital admissions officer here. I know, I'm just kidding. Okay, it's the same job as last time. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hey, Moon. I'm just here for a quick drink before I get to work. But it looks like I'll have to take a breather first. I'll have to agree. Please make yourself at home. So, you were saying? Hmm? The lady and I were in the middle of a conversation. We were? Maybe at the beginning of one? I'll back off if I am being too nosy though. I'm just very happy today. I see, should I move over there? No, you're fine. I'm just curious about how you've been doing too. But I gotta keep the momentum with this sister over there. Alright then, please don't mind me. This reminds me strongly of my very first visit here. Hmm? To be frank, this may be the place where people ask me the most questions. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure yet. But I do not mind it too much. Truthfully, I do not interact with many people on a daily basis. Since I'm on the road most of the time, is that so? What do you do for a living if you don't mind me asking? 
I'm a Groover driver. <laughs> Groover driver. But I only do intercity deliveries mostly. It sounds tough. It is not as bad as it sounds. I quite enjoy driving. It helps clear the mind sometimes. Right. That's true. I drove a cab in Manhattan back in the early 60s. You did? Yes, but I had to stop after a few months since it got pretty dangerous. Dangerous? How? Because people kept trying to pick a fight with me. Oh. I also had a few people try to skip paying fares or rob me. That sounds so terrifying and dangerous. Well, it was back in the early 60s. People weren't as kind to us as they are now. But I get why you like driving. I always enjoyed the long drive back and forth from airports. I see. Prior to focusing exclusively on delivery, I used to accept passengers as well. Oh, why the change? Because 7 out of 10 passengers would cancel on me. Usually right after they entered my car as well. Which resulted in my suspension. What? Why? Because she's a banshee. Because I terrified him. Hmm. It is just rude. I agree with Miss Rachel. It sounds so unreasonable. I must admit I looked significantly different back then. I, it was because I never had to deal with so many people before. I was living in seclusion far away from the big cities up until that point. And so during the appeal period, I attempted to make myself appear less frightening. In the meantime, I was permitted to make deliveries. Right. It turns out that I enjoy doing deliveries much more than I expected. So I rescinded my appeal. Additionally, the schedule flexibility allows me to focus more on my training or additions. Did you say auditions? Or what? Um, I've been auditioning for a soprano role. She's saying it in a low voice. Really? That sounds cool. No, it's, it's no. It's not cool at all. Why do you say that? I tried for years and have yet to land one single role. Oh. I also lost air pressure in one of my tires, by the way. Really? Yes. The officer already warned us about it too. However, I'm not quite sure if it's related to his case. Oh yes, the one for Officer Georgie, right? I'll let Officer Georgie know about it when it comes in. Thank you. So, yes, not a good day. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm used to it. Aww. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just going to check my messages. Okay. How's Henry? How's your dad, Rachel? It's nice to see you again, Rachel. Same. You must have been busy. I haven't seen you around here in a while. And how's Henry? Your dad's fine. He's been pretty busy too. Not as busy as you, it seems. I've seen him here at least every other month or so. Really, Moon? He won't let me stay out late on my break. Yeah, he comes here to see all of you. Yeah, she... I mean, Henry, I think, is Rachel's manager now, right? He returned at the end of the game. Or he returned back to the business, I mean. Uh, well... Uh, just kidding. I know he comes here often. It's fine. He's old. He needs breaks more than me. Right? Being able to unwind becomes more important as you get older. Be sure he gets his yearly checkups though. Will do. So what's up with you these days? Not a lot, but... I have a small problem at work, actually. Yeah? What is it? Well... As a person who handles patient admissions, I have to handle really young kids sometimes. We're not a children's hospital, so they usually come in as urgent cases. Hmm. That's why I try to make the admission process as painless as possible. Just to make things a little easier for everyone involved. Yeah. Sadly, kids tend to get scared of me. Which makes expediting their admissions more difficult sometimes. But you're like one of the nicest guys I know. 
well, they're usually really, really young. Do you know what makes him so afraid of you? Not exactly. I mean, he's a huge, huge guy. But I think my size is something to do with it. I still tower over them even when I get down to their eye level. True. <laughs> they probably feel vulnerable too. Yeah, I see what you mean. Not exactly what you'd call a great combo. Not at all. Again, it's not a big deal. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do about it. Oh no, the light is going out again. Hey Moon. Yes? Didn't realize it was already this late. It seems like I'll have to go soon. Can I order now? Of course. What will it, what will it be? I'll have my usual. A mix of tea, milk, and ginger. Tea, milk, and ginger? Tea, milk, and ginger. Okay, how about we give him the the fidget spinner, right? Like I don't know, uh yes, because he's working with kids, maybe the kids will like it. We already gave the email already to Riona anyways. Hmm? A fidget spinner? I don't think I need it. Oh wait. This might be a good idea. Giving small toys to children to ease their anxiety. True, yes. Nobody likes being in a hospital after all. I'll take it as a reference. Thank you. A special drink just for you, sir. Made in a jiffy without compromising quality. Thanks. Okay, let me check Tomodachi again. We got new stories. Aqua? Why are you so famous? <laughs> it's great as usual. I can't seem to make it like you do. But it still works, right? At least for the intended purposes. It does. I'm just saying, it, yours is still the best, taste-wise. What is it anyway? Ginger latte? It's closer to ginger milk tea, I think. What Moon said. Either way, I've come to like it as my late night shift drink of choice. Since I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake for health reasons, pretty much, yeah. I find myself better at controlling my fury that way. I see, that's good to know. Guess I'll have to rely on you in my venture into the world of tea drinking. You can count on me. I should leave before the storm gets worse. Aww, next time we'll catch up. Okay, alright. Sorry to leave in the middle of the conversation. Hang in there. It always gets better. Thank you. Have a safe trip. See ya. Okay, Gala left already. He just visited or visited us to get a drink. His Galahad drink. Um, Riona, isn't it? I'm sorry to hear about the auditions. Trust me, I really get how you're feeling right now. Yes? Uh huh. I've been rejected by agencies many times, too, before I finally made it into my previous group. Miss Rachel here is an idol. Her single is on the shelves behind you. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Do you have a reel up online somewhere? We might be playing on a different field, but I'd still love to see it. Yeah, I want to see it, though. Hopefully there's sound if uh, we can see it. I took it down a long time ago. Why? She gonna tell the story again? I had to deal with a lot of online harassment. Therefore, I removed it to save myself some headaches. What? People are unbelievable. Don't mind the haters. They're just people who have nothing better to do. Right. I suppose you must have dealt with similar things before. Plenty. It comes with the fame. For better or for worse. I see. Anyway, you should keep it up. Maybe I can ask my colleagues if they know my any addition leads if you link me a reel. Are you sure? Yep, I mean, no promises, but I'll try. Um, I have a video if you want to see it. Oh, of course. Let me move over there then. A video of Riona singing. Wow, 
I might get opera, but that was pretty nice. It'd be great if you posted more of these online. What do you mean? You have this... Genesaku. What is that thing going on? An unusualness that may captivate some people. Oh, I know. You should upload your stuff on Tomodachil or Tomochil. I bet many people will love it. Oh, it's all right. What's wrong? I don't think I'm cut out to have any presence online. I don't fit in with the culture. I told you, don't mind the haters. I mean, it's not just that. I might also have a complex regarding something else. What complex? You both might dislike me for this. Why? I wish to do my best in the old-fashioned way, so to speak. Meaning, it seems more appropriate for me to follow the traditional route, as opposed to using shortcuts or things that are online. Oh, I get it. I realize this makes me sound snobbish. I apologize. Who cares? Everybody's a snob in one way or another. But maybe you shouldn't limit yourself like that just yet. So, what do you mean? The entertainment industry changes rapidly, you know. For almost three years, I've been doing this. It takes a lot of flexibility to stay afloat. Because there's always someone who could replace you. Hmm. I don't know a lot of opera, but I'm sure it's changing too. Some things aren't always better the old way. Especially in the creative industry. Things stay stagnant in two ways. Either they're profitable or... Certain people are just really stubborn, like the past me. Hmm? Back then I thought I could only choose one or two things I was good at and just forget about the rest. But recently I got a chance to make my own song with a musician. I'm not the best at composing so I really need help. I see. And the musician I'm collaborating with, he had the dream of becoming a fighter jet pilot. However, one thing or another kept him from making his dream come true. So he posted his music as a hobby on Tomochil and just like that, bam, he hit it big. Oh, yep, I'm a big fan of his. In fact, all the music in this coffee shop is from his newest album. License, of course. I see. That's amazing of him. You too. Don't be afraid to do things a little differently. Plenty roads to roam and all that. That's all I can say about it. Hmm. At any rate, I'll try asking around if they have any sorts of leads. Should we exchange IDs or do you have any? No, but I have a cell phone number. Okay. There. Thank you. Okay, Rione, I have to go now. I'll hit you up but by text if I have anything. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. But you're welcome. Moon, I'm going, so see you soon. Of course. Please come again. Bye bye. Hopefully, uh, Rachel helps her. So interesting. This is my first time seeing a Nekomimi up close. Is that so? Oh, how about your car? Will you able? Will you be all right? I have a spare tire. I will fix it once the weather improves. Alright. Coming here was a wise decision. I wasn't sure whether I should. Oh. In truth, I am deeply embarrassed by my conduct last time. Yeah, she got angry last time. I regret it. I apologize. Please, don't be sorry. No harm done. Thank you. It's just... There are times when I too feel lonely. This was not the, my first rejection from an addition, as you may have already in, inferred, but it never gets easier. Understandable. Typically, I would just ruminate about it in my car while being parked somewhere. I, I acknowledge it as not as the most effective means of resolving my feelings. However, it is better than the alternatives, which are none. Now we can always come here. I don't know. 
I feel as though I'm only bringing doom and gloom to the table here. Nonsense. Our door is always open. In the evenings, of course. So please, don't ever hesitate to stop by. We'll see. Sounds like the weather will clear up soon. Really? How do you know? Hmm, experience? Let's just say I observe the sky a lot. Especially in traffic. Makes sense. I guess. In any case, I better leave now. Thank you again, Moon. You're very welcome. Have a safe trip out there, Miss Riona. I hope she comes by again. Yes. I want to see like what happens to her career throughout this game. I think this is it for today. Let's see. Hmm? Whose key card is this? A key card attached to a lanyard. I'll just keep it for now. Okay. Someone's apartment key, maybe. Maybe it's Riona's? Or Gala? Or Rachel? Okay, let's wrap this up or all up, shall we? Blue Marshmallow. I want to make that. That looks really nice. Okay. So we'll end our episode there, guys. A pretty nice one again, as usual. It's very nice seeing Rachel again. Yeah, she has a different hairstyle now. And different outfit as well. And she's helping out Miss Riona. Hopefully, Miss Riona like becomes a little bit more successful by at least by the end of the game hopefully because every time we see her even in the tomodachal posts it's always zero 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 likes basically nothing <laughs> i'm kind of sad honestly and she's trying uh she's trying all these additions and she keeps failing we also saw gala as usual ordering his gala had tea but anyways, uh, we'll continue this in the next episode. We'll do day five. Hopefully Freya comes. Dude, Freya's still not here. It's day four. We finished day four already and she's she's still not showing up. So I'll just see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.